And uh, from my point of view, it really comes down to whether this is a utility that is planned for the future uh, or not. And I think given that we can see shocks and surprises that come along faster than we have the ability to upgrade, uh, I'm a strong supporter of trying to make sure everyone has gigabit-ish level of connectivity because we don't know when the world changes and suddenly you see a significant new shift in demand. And I feel like, you know, Matt's sort of like, well, if that comes, you know, we'll, we'll get out there and we'll deal with it as soon as possible. And other ISPs may not be as, as fast as that, but, um, you know, we plan our electric grid, our water systems, our bridges, you know, with, uh, the sense of, of being ready well in advance of, of how the inevitable march of, of hunger drives us. And that's where I worry a little bit. Cause I agree with you hundred meg if it's split among a family today, like, you know, heck, even everyone in DC pretty much agrees, right? 100 megabits symmetrical. Let's just avoid the symmetry argument right now, Matt. <laughs> but, um, you know, that level of connectivity. Can you tell him like? <laughs> so, I mean, like that's, I mean, that's sort of my reaction is sort of like, yeah, like I think it's all right for today, but like, you know, we've already had this pandemic that we're suddenly like what was good enough then wasn't good enough. And, and you need time to respond to that as an ISP to connect thousands of people with upgrades and, and that sort of thing. That's why I think money today should be flowing to gigabit level um, connections, not necessarily because people are going to fill up the pipe, uh, but for planning. And also, I think, um, you know, this comment from Jim um, also gets in, uh, you know, some additional things that happen to also flow with extra um, ha having extra capacity on the, on the system. Seeing now in a lot of the wireless is the capability of doing gigabit speed. So like when Doug Dawson presents his data on what future usage is going to look like and are we building for the future, a wireless has that capability. I mean, we're seeing it in the test results. Swapping out radios isn't that difficult. So if a radio has to be swapped out, yes, but that's not a monument. It's not like building your sewer system all over again. So some of the wireless upgrade stuff is just not that bad to go through.